Pickle forks. Somebody had asked me if I can do something showing how I aim them. Now, initially, I used to shoot gangster style, which I would be initially in that position, but here I've since gone to shooting upright, which is here. Um, the reference points are still roughly the same for where the bands are between the two. So, going gangster style, moving to upright, still roughly the same. When I'm downrange, or when I'm aiming at my target downrange, what I'm looking at so, what I'm looking at is on that fork tip my target would be floating on that fork tip. So if you're shooting gangster style, you're usually putting it right in here. Shooting upright, it's very similar to a firearm, six o'clock hold. And using that six o'clock hold, you just adjust when you go back in distance. I'm still learning it, so I haven't gone back in distance yet. Well, that's basically aiming my pickle fork in a nutshell. So I'm still using the offset bands when I'm using my flat bands. So you see if I'm holding the pouch like I would for a standard OTT, there's that twist in the bands. That's naturally there. If I want my bands flat, flat and true. So there's holding it normal, holding it flat and true. So There's the 60 a few times. Take a few attempts at that steel 40. You're probably not going to be able to see it. I'm losing a lot of damage real fast. There's the 40. And I'll try for it again in the, in the blue five gallon jug. I got that 25 mil spinner. Go, got to hit on that 25. Hmm. There's another hit on that 40. Same ideology as where I'm shooting upright, and here's my reference. It's the same with when I'm shooting gangster style, so I'll do a couple here, gangster, 60 mil spinner. But in a nutshell, that's roughly how I aim a pickle fork. So again, using the six o'clock method for a firearm, 
over this corner of my fork tip and then float it for your distance. So this would be your close range 10 meters and in, obviously dropping it where you need to. And then the further you go back, so say 15 meters, 20 meters, 25, 30, so on and so on. So that's that's it in a, in a nutshell. This has been Chris with Backyard Slingshots. Till next time, keep it in the 10 ring shooters.